Listen to me very carefully now. If you can't get it through your little head, why don't you start by going into the kitchen and getting us coffee? Uh, sir, what are, what are you doing? What do they look like? Those are supposed to be for the client meeting. Um, I brought them as part of my pitch. Are you serious? <laughs> you actually thought we would trust you to pitch this client? Well, yes. Okay, Sandra, let me give you some advice since you're new here. You're an assistant, bottom of the barrel. Weren't you a stay-at-home mom until like two months ago? What could you possibly know about marketing? I delayed my career to raise my kids, uh, but that doesn't mean that... Mm, but it does, right? I mean, when you were playing little Susie Homemaker, we were out rising in the industry. With all due respect, sir, there's nothing wrong with being a stay-at-home mom. Yeah. There's also nothing wrong with being a stay-in-the-kitchen employee, you know. Um, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, uh, the kitchen. Have you ever heard of it? Microwave, stove. In my days, women used to know their function. Nowadays, you gotta spell it out for them. It's a tragedy, sir. Okay, listen. Listen to me very carefully now. If you can't get it through your little head, why don't you start by going into the kitchen and getting us coffee? Black to sugar for me, extra cream for John. Now, is that clear enough? So what do you say, sweet pea? Hmm? <laughs> you know, John, some things never change. These women, they always think they can do man's job, and they can't, you know. Far back in the old days, I saw it all. The whole feminism thing, you know, becoming a fashion. And you know, you know what's sad? I still see it today. These women, they never learned, huh? At least in the old days, you tried to take care of their appearance. <laughs> Susie Homemaker does make a fine cup of joe. Damn fine. Luckily her coffee making's been her counting skills. <laughs> Miss Carnelian, welcome. Let us serve you a fresh cup of coffee. Oh, listen, this is an old one. Marvelous. Who made this? <laughs> I, I did, Miss Carnelian. You added cardamom, didn't you? How did you know it was my favorite? Um, I, I actually follow you on Instagram, so uh, I grab one of your recipes and I just... She's great, yes. isn't she? Sandra's my assistant. We only hire the best. Now. Miss Cornelian, we are so happy to have you among us. Please, of course, welcome. You know, here at Tab Creative, we are huge fans of your artisanal cupcake boutique here in Riverside. And today, we have a great pitch for a new direction your company can take. I hope you three have something good for me today. Uh, Sandra, you can go now. Yes, Sandra, I do believe you've got some files to organize for us, don't you? I actually have taken care of all my other duties, so I could be here today, and I would... It's, it's okay. It's okay, Sandra. I know you've got great ideas for spiced coffee recipes. Please, let the big boys do the work here, and also the big girl here, of course. No. Uh, I prefer she stay. Oh. Okay. Please, yes. uh, Sandra.
Cornelian cupcakes will be huge. And so will your profits. So what do you say? We know a youthful and stylish women like you have things to do and places to be. Besides, a knockout such as yourself cannot be bogged down by all this paperwork. Yes. So say the word and uh, we'll get some contracts drawn up and we'll start making money together. Now, isn't that exciting? <laughs> uh, is there a problem? Yes. In fact, several. I wanted creative branding ideas, not this nonsense. And I don't appreciate you making the assumption that I need advice running my company. In fact, our profits were never higher, which may come as a surprise to you, seeing as I was such a knockout. And you never even offered me a cupcake. Uh, here's one I think you'll like. I dare say. Yes, that's right. These are cupcakes we instructed Sandra to cook for us. Right, John? Yeah, that's the, uh, the, uh, the abstract uh, uh, buttercream concept. <laughs> What's so funny? That's cream cheese, not buttercream. Miss um, Carnelian is not a fan of buttercream. Uh, she thinks it's overdone and unexciting. But it's, it's basically our whole brand. Bingo. Sandra, your boss has been a huge letdown. But I haven't heard a word from you about your ideas. Please give me something better than these buffoons. <laughs> I have it all here in, uh, uh, in this pitch book. All these designs are complete and taste tested. And they're all as good as the fashion I made. I would be glad to... Uh... Oh, no, no, Sandra, you don't need to prove yourself anymore. You're fantastic. I was excited to meet you, but somehow you've exceeded my expectations. Excuse me, but uh, I'm a little confused here. How did you even know Sandra existed? Clearly you didn't take the time to get to know Sandra when you were hiring her. If you did, you would have discovered that she has a huge following on social media for her designs under the handle of Cupcakes by Sandra. Well, I, I must have missed this, hmm? but um, it doesn't change anything. We're the marketing experts here and we'll be running your account. So frankly, Miss Cornelia, you need to understand your own limitations, please. Yeah, you make good cupcakes. Sandra does too. That doesn't make either of you marketing gurus like us. Is that so? Yeah, and if I'm being frank here, if I'm being brutally honest, you're over the hill, man. Maybe 30 years ago, you could have succeeded by charming your male competitors. Not now, not as a grandma. Sandra too, you're too old. You remind me of my mom. It's too late for you guys. You need us. <laughs> yeah, laugh all you want. But this office is private property. So if you're not buying our pitch, you can see yourself out. As in right now. Tab Creative, do you have any idea where that name came from? No, frankly, uh, I don't see how that's relevant. Yeah, no one cares. We call the shots around here. That's the bottom line. Not for much longer. Excuse me? As I was saying, my first name is Tabitha. 
20 years ago when I started out in marketing, I went by the name of Tab in writing to avoid being discriminated against as a woman. At one point, my boss dared me to start my own company, assuring me that I would be a failure. Well, as a reminder of how hard I had to work to make it in this industry, I named it Tab Creative. I built this company from the ground up. And when I stepped back from my role five years ago as CEO to live my dream of opening a bakery, I feared that my legacy and the values I created would be completely forgotten. I came here today as a test, and I see that you two didn't even know who I was. Thankfully, I'm still CEO with full authority to hire and fire whoever I want. Now, wait a minute. This is all one big mistake. Listen, this is all Simon's idea. He ruined your company, not me. Hey, I... little rat. You two think you can actually save yourselves now? <laughs> You're really not the brightest, are you? No, I'm afraid. And to put it into your words, what was it you said? Oh, yeah, it's too late for you both. You and Simon are over the hill as far as this company's concerned. You're both... Wait a minute. Fired! Clean out your desks. Come you on, have John. five minutes before I call security. Make that three. May I say, Miss Kermit? Tick tock, gentlemen. You're making a big mistake. <sighs> Sandra. I'm sorry that your talent has gone unappreciated for so long. That's about to change. What do you say we sit down and talk about a partnership? <gasps> I think we'd make a great team. Really? Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. 